what I'm going to tie is a dabbler. So we've got size 10 B175, wisp thread, which is a 14 0 black, and just wind the thread down to the tail. We'll get some cock pheasant for the tail, five or six strands, just pull it off. Now, you either tie them for international sized competitions or you can tie them like big. Turn that off. Okay. What we do is get red wire rib. Try and keep the rib the same length of the body. So, by that, I mean I've got it there, so that's about roughly where I want to stop the, the thread as it goes up. So you keep the body the same sort of size. So let's wind it up. Okay, then we'll go back down again. So that's the red wire rib. What we now want to do is put in some red holographic tinsel medium. You could use medium or you could use fine. But I'm going to use medium on a size 10. If I go to a 12 or 14, then I would go to fine. I'll just catch that in. Okay, same again, up and then back down. Okay, and what we want to do is wax the thread. So, a good bit of wax on the thread. Then we want, I'm using some of my new candy floss bobbin. That I'm working on. This colour is the purpley brown colour, which will change colour in the water, obviously. Yeah, so it's just dubbed on. So now we're going to wind up the body. And just use your fingers to tease it out as you're going up if you want it nice and hairy. Don't go too far up towards the eye because you still need space for the wing. So next thing what we'll do is we'll wind the red holographic on. Four turns of that. Catch it in. Trim that off. Obviously you can use different colours of holographic. We've got a red game caught cackle. Catch that in now. Okay, then a couple of turns at the front and you start working your way back. Don't worry about too much about the, the red hollow because you'll see it through it anyway. You just pull the fibres back the way. Now what, what we want to do is bring the red wire through and catch the hackle. Right, so just work the wire through the hackle. Okay. And just keep working it through so we're not trapping the fibres and twist the hackle pull it back catch the thread in three or four turns and just shake yeah. and just tidy that up a little bit And then just trim the excess hackle off. And you'll get another fly out of that one. Okay. Now the next thing what we want to do. Is we want to put. A bit of tinsel. This is copper and gold mixed. Okay. So I'll take. A dozen strands or so. What I want to do. Is just catch it in there and then just pull it back slightly keeping tension on the thread until it's just past the eye and then tie it in then what you can do is just trim the, the wing to the size you want so I want it about that size 
keep that for later on for another piece. So the next thing we want to do is get my bronze mallard. Just bring it up and fold it over the, the flash wing. And what will happen is the flash wing will sit through the bronze mallard and you'll see it. So cut that in with two or three turns. Just work your way around the edge, trimming as you go. Okay. Just work it with your thumb and your finger to make sure you're covering it up. That's the thing about this 14 0 thread, you can almost keep going. The fly head never seems to get too big. Right. Now, we can put a hack underneath if you wish, with a bronze mallard. But it doesn't really bother me that much. We'll put one in anyway, just to show you. Same again, get some more bronze mallard. Pull a piece off, flatten it out, lift the hackle. What you want to do is try and push it so it's let the bend of the hook split it, then just pull it up and just do a loop and catch, catch it in. Okay, and you want to do this before you tighten the thread up, make sure you're happy with it happy with the position it's sitting in. I'm not that happy with that so I'm going to move it and catch it in again. I'm much happier now so just catch it, trim, take it away. Right, now last thing, any proper dabbler has to have some jungle cock so what I'm looking for here, if you look at the cape, it's kind of bald. So I'm picking quite a big hackle, quite a big feather. Right, so it's one feather. Now there's a little split on either side. So if you look, I'm going to take that off and just pull it down. It's the same on this side. I've got a little split there as well. So I'm wanting to pull that away from the main feather. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just take our scissors, try and hold the feather so you get it in the middle, and just trim it. Right, so all I've done is cut it right up the middle. So it's one feather for one fly. So it's now split, as you can see. Right, show that to the camera. What we then do, hold it up and split it as we do that, right? So it's like this. So you're, you're basically putting it down on top of the hook shank. Then when you catch the eyes, you pull them down and tie it in at the black bit. And there you go. And just trim it. and then just tidy the head up. And then we just get a little finish tool and it pinged off. So we need to go back up. You can see the flash sparkling through the wing there. Same again, catch, keep tension on it. Let finish once, let finish twice. And trim. And there we go. And just you cut a varnish or hard on or whatever you prefer. If I'm not in a rush for flies, I still prefer to just varnish them. Coat varnish. And a wee coat. There we go. A flash, a flashy dabble, or a dabble flash. I don't know. And just clear the eye, make sure there's no varnish on it.